when presenting letters, Her Excellency Hell explained that Norway is willing to strengthen the bilateral relations and cooperation with Lesotho in trading, investment and economic growth. She added that during her tenure of office, she will facilitate programs and projects that will improve livelihood of two nations. She further commended Lesotho for observing rule of law as one pillar of peace and stability of the country. We need to strengthen our bilateral dialogue on topics of mutual interest, such as the UN United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the reform of the UN, climate change and free trade. In this regard, we commend Lesotho for taking recently on the responsibility of being a member of the African Union Peace and Security Council. Norway, for its part, is a candidate for a non-permanent seat at the UN Security Council for the period 2021-2022. His Majesty King Lizia III accepted Her Excellency Hill through expressing his gratitude over a long-term support rendered to Lesotho over the years of cordial relations. His Majesty says the two countries should jointly tackle common challenges facing them, particularly the issue of climate change, as well as striving to achieve sustainable development goals. Our common membership to international organizations, such as the United Nations, the FAO, World Health Organization, and the Africa Nordic Group, among others, necessitates that we should consult, work closely together, and share common positions in various international fora. His Majesty further thanked Norway for its unwavering support in the fields of education and health, particularly in combating HIV and AIDS pandemic. Meanwhile, Her Excellency paid a courtesy call on the Deputy Prime Minister Honorable Mwanyani Mulelegi at Government Complex. Mpungwali Dimu, reporting for LTV News, Maseru.